Weightlessness. Weightlessness is a term used to describe the sensation of a complete or near complete absence of weight. Astronauts orbiting the Earth often experience the sensation of weightlessness. These sensations experienced by the orbiting astronauts are the same sensations experienced by anyone who has been temporarily suspended above the seat on an amusement park ride. The causes of the sensation of weightlessness in both these cases are the same. Why do we feel weightless? Weightlessness is a sensation experienced by an individual where there are no external objects touching one's body. In other words, the sensation of weightlessness exists when all contact forces are removed. These sensations are common to the state of free fall. During free fall, the only force acting on the body is the force of gravity. As gravity is a non contact force, it cannot be felt without any opposing force. This is the reason why you feel weightless when in a state of free fall. It is important to remember that weightlessness is only a sensation and not a reality corresponding to an individual who has lost weight. Weightlessness has a little to do with weight and a lot to do with the presence and absence of contact forces. Otis Elevators is Elevator Experiment Did you know that the Wang scale doesn't measure one's weight? Rather the scale reading is the measure of the upward force applied by the scale to balance the downward force of gravity acting upon the person standing on the scale. When the body is in equilibrium, the two forces are balanced. The upward force exerted upon the person equals the downward pull of gravity. In such instances, the scale reading equals the weight of the person. However, if the person standing on a weighing scale bounces up and down, the scale reading undergoes a rapid change. While bouncing, the body is accelerating. As a result, the upward force of the scale is changing. Does this mean that the weight is also changing? Of course not. You weigh the same. Only the scale reading changes because it doesn't measure your weight but is a measure of the contact force that is being applied to the body. Otis Elevators conducted his famous elevator experiment riding the elevator up and down while standing on a bathroom scale. He noticed that the scale reading was different while he was accelerating up and down and while he was at rest or traveling at a constant speed. We know that the scale reading is a measure of the upward normal force, therefore its value can be predicted during various stages of motion. The value of normal force acting on Otis's 80 kg body could be predicted if the acceleration is known. This prediction is made by applying Newton's second law of motion. In the diagram, Otis's 80 kg is traveling with constant speed, a, accelerating upward, b, accelerating downward, c, and free falling, d, after the elevator cable snaps. The normal force is greater than the force of gravity when the elevator accelerates upwards, b and it is lesser than the force of gravity where there is a downward acceleration, C and D, and is equal to the force of gravity when there is no acceleration. Since the normal is responsible for the sensation of weight, the elevator rider would feel his normal weight in case A, slightly heavier in case B, and less than his normal weight in case C. In case D, the rider would feel weightless, without an external force acting on him, he would feel no sensation of weight. Concluding we can say that the rider weighs the same in all four cases, yet the sensation of weight felt by him is different. The sensation of weight felt by the rider fluctuates throughout the ride. Why do astronauts feel weightless in space? Astronauts orbiting in space feel a sense of weightlessness because there is no external contact force in space pushing or pulling upon their bodies. Gravity is the only force acting upon their body. Gravity being an action at a distance force cannot be felt and therefore would not provide any sensation of weight. Do astronauts experience weightlessness because there is no force of gravity in space? Many students are under the assumption that astronauts feel weightlessness because there is no force of gravity in space. This is not true. If it were true then it would violate the circular motion principles. If a person believes that the absence of gravity in space is the reason for weightlessness then they would have to come up with a reason for how astronauts are orbiting in space? Is the gravity in space lesser than the gravity on Earth? The force of gravity acting on the astronaut in space is certainly lesser than the gravity on Earth's surface. But it is not small enough to account for a drastic reduction in weight. Let us consider the space station to orbit at an altitude of approximately 400 kilometers above the Earth's surface, then the value of g at that location will be reduced from 9.8 meters slash s2 to approximately 8.7 meters slash s2. While it certainly reduces weight, it does not account for the absolutely weightless sensations that astronauts experience. 
Their absolutely weightless sensations are because of the absence of surface to support them as they are free falling towards the earth. First, let's consider the forces acting inside the elevator at rest. 1. Your weight. 2. The perpendicular reaction slash the normal reaction. When the elevator is at rest your weight is equal to that of your normal reaction. Now think of the same elevator accelerating downwards, you are standing on a bathroom scale inside it. Then apply Newton's second law, F equals ma. Direction has taken downwards as plus, direction matters since acceleration and weight are vectors. Weight, reaction equals mass times acceleration. W equals mgmg, R equals mar equals mg, A, dash 1 for an example, if your mass is 50 kilograms. The gravitational acceleration is 9.8 meters slash s squared and the acceleration of the elevator is 5 meters slash s squared. R equals 50, 9.81 to 5 R equals 240.5 N. Now, think the same anyway to that you are standing as is accelerating upwards. Now apply F equals ma. Weight, reaction equals mass times acceleration. Mg, R equals ma R equals m. G plus A dash 2 now let's apply the details of the example above. R equals 50, 9.81 plus 5 R equals 740.5 N. When a certain object is kept on a bathroom scale, the reaction is taken into consideration but not its weight. Now let's compare the answers that we got for the reactions when in the elevator is accelerating upwards and downwards. When accelerating upwards, R is 740.5 N. When accelerating downwards, R is 240.5 N. Therefore, when the elevator is accelerating upwards the scale shows a mass of 75.48 kg. But, when the elevator is accelerating downwards, the mass shown by the scale is 24.51 kg. So it's clear that when the elevator is accelerating upwards we feel more than our weight, but feel less weight when the elevator is accelerating downwards. Underscore. For more information. When an elevator falling under gravity, a equals 9.81 meters slash s squared, we feel weightless. When an elevator is accelerating with 9.81 meters slash s squared, as that of gravity, our weight is doubled.